let's have a look at a slightly more detailed example of how to read time on a analog clock. So over here, the analog clock is represented by two arms. The smaller arm is the hour hand and the bigger arm is the minute hand. So the hour hand is in between two and three and the minute hand is pointing at nine. So what does this nine signify? What is the significance of nine? So when we say that the minute hand is pointing towards nine, how many minutes is that? So the distance between two numbers on an analog clock is represented by five minutes. So if we start from zero at 12, so let's say this is our starting point, and this represents zero minutes or o'clock, zero plus five will give us five minutes. So one represents five minutes. Similarly, between one and two, you have another five minutes. So when you get to two, five plus five becomes 10 minutes. Again, this is another five minutes. So 10 plus five will give you 15 minutes. If you keep adding five minutes, you'll have 20, 30, sorry, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 55. So 9 over here represents 45 minutes. Some other basic rules that we need to be aware of is that 3 or 15 minutes represents a quarter hour. 6 or 30 minutes represents half an hour. And 9 represents 3 quarter of an hour. Okay, so in this example, we can see that the hour hand is between 2 and 3, so that is signifying 2 o'clock, and then we also have 45 minutes from here. So this becomes 2.45. So the time on the analog clock right now is 2.45. Another way to look at the clock would be to read it in a slightly different format. And the way to do this is to imagine the minute hand crossing 12. So we call it past 12. So in this case, as the minute hand is already past 12, and it's three quarter of an hour past 2, we can also say the time now is three-quarter past two. 
and a third way of <clears throat> and a third way of reading the clock could be to see where the our hand is moving towards so we can see the our hand is moving towards 3 it's moving to 3 and also the minute hand is moving to o clock so we can also say that this is 15 minutes because remember the distance between two numbers is 5 minutes so we have 15 minutes and 15 minutes is represented by quarter so we can also say that the time on the clock is quarter to three.